practice session for the US Open 2021. I get to bowl with Brad all day. It's interesting. All day. Well, we got this sheet right here. I gotta borrow Brad's, by the way, because I put mine down for a minute and someone stole it. So <laughs> here we have this sheet. I don't know if you can even see it. It's got lane assignments. We have to move every 25 minutes. We have seven people on a pair. We're bowling four different pairs. We have four different practice sessions. The last one probably not gonna bowl because it's the cash's round. Yeah, we'll and, be over uh, it by then. Yeah, we'll be over it, and the lanes probably won't even play the same by the time we get to the cash round, so. Yeah, and right really now it's 9 a.m. The last practice session starts at 6 p.m., so no that's one's a gonna, lot of bowling. No one's, no one's <laughs> gonna want to be here. People are gonna want to eat dinner. So, our first pattern's 36 feet. It's got that funnel shape, like most of these USBC tournaments. So, I feel like they're forcing us to play straighter. Yeah. Well, Norm said, I watched a vlog from the USBC, and he said, when the pattern's really difficult, topography is enhanced. Uh, so it yeah, just makes I it. Agree. So he's like, when the pattern's that difficult, it's almost the pattern doesn't even matter. It's more so going pair to pair. Mm -hmm. That's more telling on whether or not you're going to I feel like that brings so much luck into play. Because you got to get lucky when you go to a new pair. Yeah. You know, you're somebody that caves a big four and throws a Brooklyn versus that the guy that it's the hole twice and might you know, temp and temp and mm -hmm. it's like you really need some luck on your side for these events i feel but i mean not discrediting anybody that bowls well you no. still need a lot of skill to and especially the masters too like that's that's kind of the enhanced because you could just you could get opponents that don't bowl yeah. good yeah. And, and literally march your way all the way through the tournament that's the great thing about the event and then also the when you're on the wrong side of it mm -hmm. it's the frustrating thing it could, yeah, it could even be, it doesn't even matter how hard the pattern is, you can just get good yeah. draws the whole time. So, unfortunately we didn't, but the US Open's a little different. Yeah, I mean, if that master pattern was that hard, what do you think these are gonna be? Dude, I'm actually thinking about doing what I did last year, just throwing it at the head pin. You bowled good last year? I had minus 11. On the first day? On the last day. last day. Yeah, the, last day. Last day. Last day. Yeah. the third day last Welcome year the US Open was the hardest United pattern we've ever bowled on, this period. Impossible. <laughs> How you doing? All right, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Looking forward to bowling this one. Are you here? Yeah, you know, same old. Yeah. I'm uh, trying to get lined up with Mikey. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty good person to get lined up with. Uh, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. No, yeah, I'm going to have to disagree. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes not so good. But today, he's, he's bowling well. practice of four probably only gonna bowl three of them because like we said earlier the last pattern is gonna be the cashers round yeah, and uh, one we got to make it there first two yeah none of the patterns today could even play the same so we don't know <sighs> gotta figure out ten balls two more practice sessions to do it pattern one because I didn't show you guys earlier and the one we've been waiting for the 40 flat one to one, just like the good old days. I need to see. 
see that shot on film. I need to analyze that one. <laughs> Time to drill. We just got done with practice session number two. We're blowing on 40 feet flat, and I got an afterburner for just because. Pack, you drilling anything? Yeah, seeing it solid, zero inches. Okay, I'm gonna leave that out. On, on axis. Okay. Chris, what are we drilling? I can't even see it. A new high road max since mine now looks brownish red with the oil. Asylum max. It looks like an asylum max, so. It's just asylum. Freshen it up. Fresh, high road max. Oh God, we almost died. Oh my God, okay, there's one more. Oh my God. Another one. Oh my God, another one. They just keep coming. There's another one. Actually getting arrested. We're back again for Boba. Boba. I want another bet. Oh, what? say from me? No, from DMAC. What's up? You're buying me Boba. Not buy <laughs> Huh? Language. I can bleep, bleep it out. Bleep, Say whatever you want. Bleep, bleep, I even gave you handicap. And enough. they were hard. Not enough. I'll give you 10. Again. I'll give you 10 tomorrow. 13, 13 tomorrow. Again. If you give me 10 on day two. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> She's just like, I'm gonna kick your ass on day two. <laughs> Deal. She clearly had volleyball reaction day two. Fuck advertisers. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hang on, where's the pen go? Hi. It's a wonderful pen, it writes very well. Uh, TV bowling, bowling supply, check it out. I'm gonna keep my scores for this week. <laughs> TV good. bowling supply by DMAC. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks. What's the next bet? It was day one, I'm giving you 13. And day two, you're giving me 10 for Moboba. So for those of you that Ooh. want to keep track. I want sushi. Oh, okay. Up in the bed. All right, all right. Let me get on this one. You, we bet sushi tomorrow. I get thirteen. Wait, games hold up. Tomorrow? You get thirteen. You're giving tomorrow. Daniel thirteen. Okay. No, no, no. Short. Deal. Oh, I'm pretty God. sure you still owe me like three or four sushis. Three or four sushis. Right. Yeah. She never pays up. Like what? Eight pieces of sushi. <laughs> you guys ever bet sushi? This is always bogus. Always overseas. You're gonna have to beat the camera again. I'm about to start cursing you out. Do it. You won't. Do it. Listen here, mother. <laughs> All right, deal. All right, we're back in the National Bowling Stadium. Practice number three. Got my afterburner. And pattern number three. 44 feet. One, five, do we one? Okay. Okay. One more practice after this, but let's be real. No one's gonna practice. Got my 10 balls figured out. Now we can only keep the 10 balls that we choose in our little square. So I gotta move like 15 balls to the car. That's not gonna be fun. I'll show you guys what I got after I clean up. All right, here we go. We got our 10 right here. We got phase two, pitch black, aspect, afterburner. Axiom Zen, another pitch black, Old Faithful, Reality, and Alpha Crook. Oh, one more. Penny Emerald. So we got three balls on the low end. We got a lot of pieces kind of in the middle. And then we have pitch black, first balls in the bag, Reality, Alpha come after that. Unless pitch black doesn't look so good. 
Then we got our middle balls, axioms, and aspect, and phase two. I like what I got. We'll see. We are allowed to change balls after the first round, which is the first three days. So going into the cashers round, if we want any different balls, we can go swap some out. It's a long ways from now. We got three days, 24 games. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're turning in early for the night. US Open starts tomorrow. Uh, short, we go short, medium, long. Short and the long seem scorable. The medium is 40 flat. Scores are gonna be uh, on the lower side, I would, I would. I think we're ready. It's gonna be a good week, right boys? Let's get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we'll catch you throughout the week. And bye.